You are a cruel, cruel woman, Carmen Vera. You break a man's heart with no remorse. You live. After three decades as a pioneering character actor, Tony Plana has been fortunate to have been part of Latino TV history as a patriarch of two groundbreaking series. And while Tony still thinks there's a long way to go for Latinos on TV, he still is making headway with his own career, this time in the Hallmark Movie Channel's all-Latino cast film, Meddling Ma. Didn't your mother teach you not to sneak up on a lady? I didn't see a lady. I saw a Hitchcock movie. Oh, oh. I've been an actor in film, television, and theater for over 30 years. The first decade involved playing a lot of, you know, Latino stereotypes. I often joke that the only stereotype I haven't played is the pregnant teenager, but... You know, what I like to say is that, for me, the valleys and the peaks haven't been very, you know, high. <laughs> the most salient would be Resurrection Boulevard, the first Latino-based drama, and Ugly Betty on ABC most recently. It was a um, tremendous experience. I'll always be proud of the fact that I was a part of those two pioneering shows that really promoted a multi-dimensional, complex, very human image of the Latino. That's what I loved about Meddling Mom. She is a very stubborn woman, your mother. Huh, try being raised by her. To show all these different Latino characters within the family structure and even their relationships with which they're interacting and their friends, show them in a, a middle class context and have them be interacting, being successful at their businesses, their, their sons and their daughters, you know, accomplishing, being educated, interacting with each other socially and culturally. I mean, that was all super attractive to me when the project came my way. And, uh, you know, and also I, I got to be the love interest for Sonia Braga. You know, I mean, a, any man from my generation has always had a crush on Sonia Braga. You are the most exciting, frustrating woman I have ever met. I never thought I'd feel this way again. But I see now we get another chance. That kind of emphasis on family, I've always felt with Resurrection Boulevard, with, with, with Betty, always felt that it's, it's the one uh, aspect of Latino culture that I think really can contribute positively to American culture. But I think it's important for the young artists to be able to speak and communicate to think about how their particular perspective on the world in, in all its detail is at the same time very universal and accessible to, to anyone. And if it is a girl... Shh. No talking. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Woo!